we are going to see the practice set number 8.2. Let's take the example number first from this practice set 8.2. Here we have given a table. So for our example, we are taking a one example that is value of sin theta is given that is 11 upon 61. And we have to find out the values of cos theta and tan theta. Now let's see how we can find out this. We know the identity that is sin square theta plus cos square theta which is equal to 1. To find out the value of cos theta. So therefore it is a 1 identity. That is what the formula which we already see. So cos square theta which is equal to 1 minus sin square theta. So therefore cos square theta which is equal to 1 minus here the value of sin theta is 11 upon 61 that is bracket square. So therefore cos square theta is equal to 1 minus the square of 11 is 121 and square of 61 is 3721. So therefore cos square theta is equal to here this 3721 taking this side because to equate this terms 3721 minus 121 upon 3721. So therefore cos square theta is equal to here taking subtraction that is 0, 0, 6, 3 that is 3600 upon 3721. Now by taking square root both the sides cos theta is equal to we know that the square of 3600 is the square of 60 and 3721 is the square of 61. So here the value of cos theta is 60 upon 61. So 60 upon 60 1. This is the value of cos theta. Now to find the value of tan theta. So we know that the relation of tan theta is sin theta upon cos theta. So therefore tan theta is equal to the value of sin theta is 11 upon 61 and cos theta is 60 upon 61. So therefore tan theta is equal to 11 upon 61 multiplied by 61 upon 60. So 61, 61 that get cancelled. Here the value of tan theta is 11 upon 60. This is the value of tan theta. So value of tan theta is 11 upon 60. In this way we can calculate the value of cos theta and tan theta. Here another example is given for you. So you can solve it by using this simple method. 